I will uh, call upon Basil to cover off on Middle East. Uh, Basil, there seems to be some political movements with closure of pro Shiite uh, parties uh, in Baghdad. Uh, can you highlight that? Yes, sure, Bargav. Uh, thank you. Uh, we had uh, around one assessed event today and 23 other developments in the EMEA region. Uh, so the prominent, uh, I'll start off by the Middle East, the prominent issue today was the, the, the Kurdistan Democratic Party uh, headquarters was attacked by protesters. Uh, the attack was due to a member of the party criticizing Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani, which is considered to be the Khamenei of, uh, of Iraq. Uh, as you said, this issue seems to be politically motivated, especially from the Iranian affiliated militias, uh, considering that there is an elections for the president in Iraq uh, uh, yesterday, which uh, the Iranian affiliated militias, uh, around 126 uh, parliamentarians boycotted the elections. Uh, this is, uh, the attack is likely uh, also to further postpone uh, the elections. Um, moving on uh, to Africa, I want to ask Sitati, what's with the protests by university students in Nigeria? There se seems to be no site for them to end soon. Thank you, Basel. Before I get to that, allow me to mention that we covered uh, seven developments today in Africa. And to answer your question, uh, the primary cause of yesterday's uh, protests by university students in Abuja, Nigeria, resulted from the collapse of negotiations between uh, the academic staff union of universities and the federal government earlier this month. And the students are demanding a resumption of academic activities at universities across uh, the country. And perhaps just to further contextualize uh, uh, yesterday's protests that uh, uh, the students also held the nationwide protest on February 28th, uh, which resulted in the closure of major roads, uh, especially in the capital Abuja. So there seems to be no end in sight of this, uh, I mean, of the strikes by the academic staff. And this will likely lead to more protests by the university students. So uh, that's all we have uh, from Africa today. And Basel, as I hand it back to you again, uh, there seems to be an increase in labor strikes in Italy recently. Could you just brief us on what's with today's planned uh, transport strike uh, in Italy? Sure, Sitati. Uh, we have been witnessing a lot of labor strikes and protests across Europe, especially after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, yesterday, uh, sorry, today it was in Rome in Italy. There was a transport a strike. The FISA Cisal uh, trade union called for a 24 hour public strike. Uh, the public strike will affect the bus, tram, and uh, metro services operated by the municipal uh, transport provider. We have been uh, seeing these strikes uh, along Europe, especially in Spain, uh, France, the UK, and Germany. However, it was only uh, effect effective in Germany, where uh, today the Verdi Union and the BDLS, which is the Association of uh, Aviation Providers, Aviation Safety Company, sorry, uh, they reached an agreement to stop the airport strikes. However, in places like Italy, Spain, the strikes have been continuing uh, despite the governments uh, uh, giving out offers to uh, constrain the strike, uh, like in Spain, what happened today is that uh, also the, the government gave an offer to the unions to stop the trucker strike. However, they have been continuing and they called an additional strike uh, for, the, uh, for the rest of the week. This is all from the EMEA today. Thank you. Thank you, Basel. With that, it's a wrap from us. Thank you for joining us. You can reach out and know more about our bespoke membership services. Thank you.